Hello, welcome back to Uncle Buck's Advice. Today we're going to talk about what they say. All right, uh, the internet can be a wonderful thing. It can be a wonderful, wonderful thing. It's full of information, but it's also full of people that have all a whole myriad of different opinions, opinions about things, including myself. I'm just, this is my opinion of everything I'm going through after seven and a half years of TRT. And they say a lot of things. All right, let's just get down to the nut cutting on this deal. All okay. right. There's a lot of science out there. There's a lot of studies out there. There's a lot of people doing it out there. There's a lot of people that are on the fence about doing it out there. There's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of. It's mind-boggling. You can just do a Google search on testosterone replacement therapy and there'll be hundreds of thousands of videos. Hundreds of thousands of opinions. Hundreds of thousands of this. So all I can do is give you my opinion after with practical experience. That's all I can do. Okay? So if you don't agree with my opinion, that's fine. That's what America is all about. You know, if you don't like what I say, don't watch. You know, but I'm just going off a of real world, what I've been going through step by step by step for the last seven and a half years. Okay. The first one, I, I got a, qu a question from a viewer that he was or heard or had been told that it, to run TRT, you need to run three months on, a month off. Hey, if you're here and you're watching, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, smash that like button. Hit that bell. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Help out the channel. Y'all be good. Three months on, a month off. That way, your natural production stays running. Well, I don't really agree with that statement. I don't know where he got that information. He didn't tell me. But to me, that seems awful silly because... The moment that you start introducing an outside source of hormone into your system, your natural production keys, your brain keys, all the trigger mechanisms in your body keys to shut your own natural production off, okay? So if you're going to go three months on, one month off, you're going to feel good for three months. Your natural production is going to shut down. You're going to, once it weans off after that month, you're going to start feeling really bad again because your natural production is not going to turn back on. The older you get, the harder it is for your natural production to go back on after you started using an outside source. So if you go three months, say, I'll just give you a number. I'll try to give you a number. It would, it would be my opinion. Just from having had blood work just a couple weeks ago and taking a week off, so that my numbers weren't so high so that you know because you know they're regulating now and i went down from normal running if i took my shot on sunday and got my blood work done on tuesday my numbers would be about 825 800 so i didn't take a shot for a week and three days and took a blood work i was in the 300s in 10 days okay already felt it Went home after the blood work and took the shot. And then took the shot on Sunday and I feel fantastic right now because I, they kind of like got a, got a little close after being off. But right now on Friday after my shot on Sunday, I still feel really good. I am just got done doing a back workout and I've already done my, I've been on a treadmill five times this week and I've already done my thing and it's Friday and it's my, uh, you know, I'm going to have a nice weekend. I'll be out in the garage working on the truck in Uncle Buck's garage if you want to check it out. But that's how fast my level can drop 500 points in 10 days. Okay. So I may not be the norm, but that's what I know. Okay. I know that I don't take my shot before I get my blood work done, done now because of the regulations. But that was a little bit of a proof of how fast it'll drop off on me. I have no natural production whatsoever. None. Okay. After seven and a half years, um, I don't have any. I couldn't imagine what it was like would be like to take a month off. 
to go three months on and, and a month off or six weeks off and then three months on and a month. Them bodybuilder guys that been on huge amounts for years and years and years, for them to like what they say go clean, well, it's my understanding from what I'm reading and watching and and, and their opinion is that they have to take a TRT dose just to stay mentally right. Uh, they just they have to take a TRT dose just to function in the world. So, I don't think it would be good of me to give the advice of that would be a good thing to do. Just not there. So, cruising, blasting, and being off, or, or being on and being off, or whatever it is. It's this is one of those treatments that once you start, you gotta start. You gotta stay on it. There's just no wiggle room around that. You once you're on, you're on. Now you can adjust dose, but I don't think there ever be a time unless I have no control over my bodily functions and I can't get my wife to do it for me that I won't ever be on some kind of hormone. It'll be always be a low dose from this point. It'll always be a low dose. I don't think I'll ever... There's no reason for me to try to go any higher than the 140 milligrams a week that I'm doing now. And then running an average of 800 for a um, testosterone level. Just no reason for me to go any because it, it doesn't affect my uh, blood sugar. It doesn't affect my um, hematocrit. It doesn't affect everything that can all the bad things that can happen when you're using very large doses uh the or someday i might decide to try to microdose if i get a little bit of a less stringent schedule if i got where a little bit a little bit more free time i might split my dose into a sunday and a, t a thursday shot like cut it in half and just do half and half uh, see how that makes me feel if that I mean I'm I'm almost to the point where I can get rid of the night job so um, I might do some testing of what if some microdosing would help for me splitting up a little bit would help for me if I change up my shot date if that would help uh, with the workouts because like taking a shot on a Sunday come in Monday is leg day uh, you know I do legs push pull shoulders four days a week take Wednesday off but my workouts on my workouts on, on Monday and Tuesday are better than my workouts on Thursday and Friday because it's starting to level off a little bit but when I come in after taking my shot on Sunday morning Monday morning for a leg workout I'm ready to rock and I'm feeling good and I'm feeling strong and I'm feeling healthy and, and rested and after having a weekend off and and it's time to hit it so that might be something in the future for me just a little to just test and and see if I could adjust a little bit even you know microdose a little bit even it get my even though my all my levels are good they're medium normal because no matter what when you introduce an outside source at about to turn 55 in three weeks when you introduce a, a outside source it's going to affect your levels a little bit. It's going to affect your blood pressure, things you're going to have to watch. It's going to affect your cholesterol. It's going to affect your blood thickness, your hematocrit, you know, your red blood cell count. It's going to affect. Low dose has positive effects on that because you are going to produce more red blood cell count, which creates more viscosity to blood, which um, could create a blood pressure problem. They're all related. They're all intertwined together. But they can be managed on a low dose. There's there's like a there's like a edge to the cliff that you can get to, and still have positive everything, and if you deviate just a little bit, you could either you could fall off that cliff and things could go haywire. So, like I've always said, it's testing, 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 testing. It's always get your blood work done, always, 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 always get your blood work done on a regular basis. So, if you're still here. Like, share, and subscribe. Smash that like button. Hit that bell. Check out the links down below. Check out Uncle Buck's Garage. I appreciate every single one of you guys. We're getting close to a grand. Getting close to a thousand. This is, 
I don't know what it hit. It's like all of a sudden you guys were coming in and, and subscribing, and then all of a sudden it just stopped. And the last 35 guys to, to sign up for this channel is it's taking forever. But I'm still having fun. I'm still enjoying it, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. So y'all have a great day. Because a great day today can be an even better day tomorrow. Y'all be good.